In this video, we'll be taking a look at the designer flipbook feature. I'll go over how to actually create a flipbook. I'll answer some frequently asked questions that people have about creating their flipbook. And we'll also go over some best practices. So let's jump over to the computer and let's take a look. Hi, I'm Larry Haliski from the Lead Gen Lab. I wanted to first go over something very quickly. Uh, a lot of people have a question is about the flipbook. Previously, Designer did not include the flipbook feature in the standard plan, which is the $27 one-time uh, fee plan. They recently did add that feature. So in all plans, you can create flipbooks. So if you look at my screen now, um, you will see that published PDF in Flipbook is one of the features and then also Flipbook generator from any PDF. So there's two different things here. Number one, if you create an ebook inside of Designer, you can create, you can turn it into a Flipbook right inside Designer. The other thing is, is if you have an existing PDF that it's already completed and you just want to convert that into a Flipbook real quick, you can do that also in the standard plan. Like I said, that wasn't available a couple of months ago, um, but it has now been included into the designer standard plan. So to create your ebook from an existing project that you created inside a designer, all you have to do is come to log into your account and come to the ebook that you want to create a flipbook. Click these three little dots and come right here to open PDF in flipbook only takes a couple seconds it'll open up and now we have our flip book you can see up here how many pages it is down here at the bottom you can click this will play it automatically you can also change the you can see that you know the pages over here if you want to share a link to it you can share it to social media by clicking on one of these or if you come up to the top here, you can actually just copy this link here and you can share that onto social media or wherever you want. You do have the option to click on the, the print it. If, when you, if you do click on the print or this download button down here, it's gonna convert it into a PDF and it's gonna save it to your computer as a PDF and then it'll allow you to print or save it to your computer. So scrolling through these real quick these pages you can see everything well i didn't show you the ebook but everything came over as is on how they was laid out on the different pages it doesn't do any editing um the one thing that you do have to do is say if i i'm taking a look at this and i wanted this to start on a new page i would actually have to go back to designer and go into my project and edit it, make that change, save it, and then I could come back and republish this to a to a flipbook, and then it'll open up and display as a flipbook. So the last option is to create your flipbook straight from a PDF that you did not create inside the designer. So to do that, we're going to come up here in this top right, and we're going to click on create a new project. And then we're going to come down here to PDF to Flipbook. When we click on that, we're going to give it a title. You can put a description if you want. Um, you don't have to. And then if your PDF is hosted online somewhere, you can put in that, web, that URL of the PDF. Or what most people are probably going to do is they're going to upload uh, an existing PDF. So you can either go to your computer and drag your PDF file right in this box, or you can click on upload from your computer. For this one, I'm just going to upload it from my computer. I'm going to select this PDF and it takes a little bit longer to create the the flipbook because what designers doing is it's importing that file and then converting it to the flipbook version um, when as you're uploading it so what you can do is you can either click on this copy this link here or click ok if 
you click OK, it's going to take you back to your dashboard. And if you scroll down below all your ebooks, hopefully you don't have as many as I do. But if you do, just scroll down to where it says Open Flipbook. And here's our flipbook right from the PDF. And everything will be identical. Again, if you have any links in your PDF, it'll retain those links. So that's pretty much it. There's, like I said, there's two ways to create your flipbooks. You can create them from a project inside a designer, or you can just upload a PDF directly and convert it into a PDF or I'm sorry, upload it, a PDF and convert it into a flipbook. So I know I went through that pretty fast. Good news in the comment section below this video, in the very first comment, I'm going to pin a link to a page where you can actually download a ebook made in designer. That's going to show you how to do this step-by-step -step with screenshots and instructions. And it's also going on the page, it's going to have a link that you can open up and view a flipbook for yourselves. Um, also, at the end of this video, I'm going to create another video with some of the frequently asked questions that people have on using the flipbook. Um, it'll answer quite a few of the commonly asked questions that you might have yourself right now. So after this video is over, make sure that you watch the next video. And if you have any questions whatsoever, please, in the comments, write your questions. Uh, I want to make this channel interactive and answer questions. So if you have a question, put it in the comments. Um, give me a thumbs up if you would. And if you want to get some more um, ebook designer related videos, please make sure you subscribe to the channel and of course, click that little bell icon so you get notifications of all the new videos. Thanks for watching. To see the designer flipbook frequently asked questions video, click the video. Or if you want to see my other marketing videos, click on the other video. Again, thanks for watching and please subscribe. Have a great day.